Hey guys, haven't made a video for a while, so here's one about tamago yaki, which is a Japanese egg omelet uh, made with rolls and rolls of layers and layers of egg. First, uh, we're going to take a couple of eggs. I've got three here, and you're going to beat them. Um, and you ideally want to beat it without introducing too much air like I'm doing here. I don't care that much, but if you, if you want it to be nice and smooth, you want to make sure that you uh, whisk it back and forth instead of around in circles like I'm doing and, and creating a lot of bubbles in there. Then you add a couple of shakes of salt. I usually do two quick shakes per egg, uh, but adjust it to your liking. And then a half teaspoon of hondashi powder, uh, which is uh, adding umami. That's optional, but I really like it in there. And a, sp a few splashes of mirin, which is a sweetened rice vinegar. Uh, it is sweet, so you can add with sugar instead. Then add a couple of milliliters of water per egg to make it nice and fluffy and, uh, and it helps to bubble up when you're, when you're cooking it. Once you've got all those things, uh, mix it around and here you can see I'm actually stirring it back and forth. The hondashi is going to make the egg mixture a little bit darker so that's going to take a nice orange color, a little bit deeper than what your egg yolks were. Once you've got that, the egg mixture should be really nice and smooth and then we're going to fire up the, uh, the element, keep it on low, low, medium uh, heat, and we're going to heat up our pan. You don't need to have a square pan, but if you do, it makes it nice and easy to, to keep the form and shape. Uh, take a paper towel, it's got a little bit of vegetable oil in it, and just heat the pan up. And we're going to rub it with a little bit of oil a couple times just to make sure that uh, it's all nice and smooth and nothing's going to stick, because when you're trying to flip over egg, in a sticky pan that's not going to work very well for you and you'll you'll probably tear it especially since we're going to be frying them little uh, little layers at a time pour just a bit of the egg just enough to coat one layer across the bottom of the pan and it should be at the heat where it's bubbling up like this almost immediately and as you let it cook the outside should start to lift away from the pan and you can just very gently fold that first one over. You can see that I keep moving the pan uh, either forward or back between uh, over the element. And once you flip it over into roughly the desired shape that you want, oil up the, the pan again and then slide that egg forward to the other side and then again oil the back side which is now bare and then doesn't have any oil on it. This is not really a healthy egg dish. Uh, as you can see from all the oil that we're going to be using every single time. And when you're ready, after oiling, pour your next bit of egg to coat the bottom of what's left in the pan. Uh, and then lift the egg slightly up so that you kind of glue those together. And again, those bubbles, you need to pop them just to get the egg a little bit flatter so it's not that wrinkly in the layers in between. Uh, it's not vital, but if you, if you want to have nice smooth egg throughout, uh, that's what you need to do and then push it forward. If you've got a little extra egg that's, that's still uncooked, then uh, bring that back. And you can see that when I flip it with my chopsticks, I'm being very gentle and I'm moving the pan at the same time as I'm flipping with the chopsticks just to make it smoother. The egg is really soft at this point, so you wanna be very gentle. Here's our third egg pouring. I'm lifting up the egg a little bit there, the cooked egg, so that the raw egg can get underneath and kind of join it into one long roll. I'm pressing it down with the chopsticks here just to keep a little bit of form. Uh, normally in a large tamagoyaki outfit, they will have a large pan, but also have uh, wood presses so that they can press it almost perfectly. I don't have that, but if you have a press or something like that, that could probably help. And we're doing the last one. You can see that every time I flip over, the just cooked egg is actually perfect and it's not, uh, it's not browned. Texture is a little bit different if you let it fry until it's brown. My heat probably could be a little bit lighter. Here I am oiling the last bit, and getting some of those last uh, straggly egg bits off and then oiling the last, uh, last surface before I pour the rest of the egg in and this will be the last flip. All right, lifting up my egg roll again while the egg is cooking and it's not really bubbling up, so I'm not so worried about it. Uh, normally, if you're planning this better than I am, you would have quite a bit of egg left so that your last layer is quite complete. Again, I was just making it on a weekend at home, so I didn't really care that much. 
I'm pressing it and just pushing against the edge of the pans. You can see there I flipped it with the chopsticks and the pan moving at the same time. Now I've turned the fire off and I've tilted the pan backwards so it can sit against the straight edge and set a little bit as it cools down a bit. And when you pour it out, be very gentle, just flip it onto your plate and let it cool down for a couple of minutes, maybe one or two, um, just so that as it cools down, the egg is continuing to set uh, and it makes it a little bit easier to slice nice and clean. As it cools, you'll see that it takes a little bit more wrinkles on the outside. And when you slice it out, here you can see all the different layers. But anywhere that you had over fried it, like I have here, you'll see some brown uh, brown layers in there. So if you want it like really perfect like the restaurants do, then keep your fire low and, uh, and make all your layers nice and even so your egg pores should be even. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. Do you do yours a different way? Have you tried it in a round pan? Uh, let me know. Uh, and thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching.